Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. And I wanted to talk about the test that obviously happened in the dev server. Um, I was hoping that in the live server they would continue a little bit, but yeah, it was kind of optimistic to consider that. And what test that I'm talking about? Well, the Fox Tree test, okay? What conclusions can we take from uh, this? Well, I think the first one is an obvious one that the game is ready for it. I gotta say, um, I thought it would break the game a little bit and for sure we need some tweaking, especially on the missile performance, but also, uh, and I'm not talking about nerfing, you know, but just making it more realistic. Um, I noticed that some missiles, for example, were wobbling way too much, like the Mika, for example. You could never really hit anything too far away because of it. So there is some buffs and maybe some nerfs, depending on the situation where the missile is, uh, to be done. But, um, and I'm talking about all the missiles, right? Uh, but in a general sense, I think it was a very, very good test and it shows that the game is ready, although we need some tweaking, you know? And I think uh, the major reason will be these two gameplays that I recorded today. So here I was flying with the SU-27 and I fired a missile, I don't know, like 60 kilometers, 70, I don't know. It was really, really far away with an R-27 ER, right? I just fired a missile and of course I cranked to the left and yeah, um, eventually I got the kill. And you will see what happens and we are going to talk about it, what happens uh, when I try to do something with the sparrow and I will get to that point later but the general idea is that uh, we need these missiles for balancing purposes right but again we're gonna get to that another factor is that um, that we need to consider from that tweaking is that um, I'm I have a feeling I don't know if it's true or not but I have a feeling that this change to the Golden Heights map that a lot of people are complaining about um, and it's getting, like, it's kind of weird sometimes, the matchmaking. I saw some people complaining just now that they were on the 13th match in the same map. So, yeah, that's that's a big problem, you know? <laughs> that's not very fun. But I feel that they are testing this map to actually try, maybe, force people flying high. Um, because, don't get me wrong, but... I think they will try to make them people fl fly a little bit higher because then these Fox 3 missiles will make a lot more sense, in my opinion. At least looking at the tests, you know, when people were flying too low, the missiles were kind of weird and they're kind of like a super maneuverable missile that it's kind of weird. And as you just saw there, the Sparrow went to the ground and... Yeah, I don't know what happened there. You will see my second missile failing to track a very kind of easy target to track. If it was an R-27, for sure you would kill this target. But yeah, it decided to go to the bridge. So this is, I think, um, the last and one of the main reasons why we need these missiles ASAP. Uh, because as an, a balancing standpoint, yeah, I mean... We will create some power creep depending on the BR that these things come, but the NATO missiles, they're really bad. Like, the Sparrow is a really bad missile right now. Yeah, you can get kills with it, but, and, yeah, I know there will always be somebody in the comments complaining that I said that about the Sparrow, because the Sparrow is the best missile ever made, right? There's always somebody complaining about that, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in-game right now, okay? The Sparrow really likes trees and like f the sky and the ground and not really targets while the R-27 can destroy everything at 60 kilometers of range and this will only be fixed if in balancing purposes if they actually add fox trees because this peril don't seem to be getting fixed even with the fix that they normally try to implement so I guess we need to just scrap everything and get the fox trees you know and once those fox trees are added we might get some form of balance i think it will really happen i think so um yeah these are my opinions on the test uh and about everything hopefully we get more tests before the next patch remember the next patch will introduce these missiles 
uh, to the game. So I think there is a lot of work for them to do and more tests and fixings and everything like that before the next dev server and everything like that because it's so close when a patch comes, a dev server, etc. that um, I think it would make sense, right? Uh, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought about the Fox 3's missiles in the dev server and the necessity of them being added. I see you guys.